We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I've got the great pleasure of being with Ms. Oksana smirnova Krell, who is the CEO of Intervale Management. Ms. smirnova Krell, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, your presence here at ITU Telecom World. And uh, I've heard that uh, Intervale is a developer of ITU standards. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about, uh, about what you do in, in terms of uh, your day-to-day -day business and also looking at innovations. It's very much a, a focus here at, at ITU Telecom World. Well, uh, talking about the standards, uh, actually uh, the standards uh, were developed by ITU, but we initiated those in 2008. We came up with a proposal to talk about secure remote payments in the telecommunication networks and to standardize those. Uh, within three years we reached a result and in 2011 ITU adopted two important standards. First of all, how to benchmark the systems from the perspective of their security. And second, um, what should be the architecture of the secure system. And uh, we are glad to know that the pro products that we offer to our customers, they are based on those principles that are declared by ITU as standards. And in terms of the focus on innovation, you've got, what, tell us a little bit about uh, where you're going in terms technologically and product-wise. Well, uh, if we talk about innovation, we should talk uh, from two perspectives from my point of view. First, if, about uh, pure technology. And in this respect, from just building a uh, solution for particular customers, we went to the direction of open API, open, uh, offering a solution to different market players that could be built into their already existing solution, just giving the opportunities um, uh, to freely select what is needed and add on to the particular solution uh, what's uh, uh, really needed for particular business, just making it possible for uh, different players to develop digital financial services. Uh, from the perspective of product, I would say the most interesting about what we um, uh, told today to the public is our projects with uh, the Postal Union. Because last year we did a very interesting project uh, where we launched mobile payments into the network of the Russian Post. And now we have a pilot with UPU and together with Kazakhstan Post, um, about which we expect uh, to be telling the world in December this year on ITU Congress. And uh, why are you taking part here in ITU Telecom World? What's, uh, what's the value of attending an event such as this? Well, it's a good opportunity not only to learn about new technologies, what the others are doing, but also to get a feedback of those who regulate the market, which is also important, because uh, you understand how uh, different markets work, what our regulations are about, and how they can impact the development of the payment industry, financial services, etc. That's why it's very useful to be here. And what have your impressions been of the, uh, of both of the sessions and of the exhibition itself? Uh, I liked very much the sessions because it gives a very good perspective on different areas as far as ICT is concerned, both from the perspective of technology, business, regulation. On the other hand, it's very good to see that special focus um, uh, by the chairman is uh, paid to SME because everyone is talking about ICT for big companies, but SME actually moves the development of many countries, many businesses and economies. And it's very good that special focus now is paid exactly to them and within uh, the framework of this event. Oksana Smirnova-Krell, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you.